how fast can I hit level 40? Well, today, we are going to find out. This video is not ending until I go from level 1 all the way to level 40 and unlock the NBA mascot. Wow. <laughs> No Life Double Ages really returning for this video. Well, let's get started. I need to level up for the first time this game. That's a steal. We throwing it off the glass. <laughs> My team needs a shot. I need to come up big. Come on. That screen and we point at him. Oh, he better get out the way. He better get out the way. Oh, not on two of them. Not on two of them. Do full perfect. That's an easy green. Come on. I'm already knowing he can't guard me. I'm already knowing he can't hold me. Get out the way. Easy three. It's a guaranteed three. Spin back. Where are you going? You you lost. You're lost, buddy. Come here, Lenny. Come here, Lenny. Get it down to the ground, Lenny. Oh, my. This mascot is unguardable. I'm unguardable. Where is he going? From half court. Our first level up. We are now level two. Just hit level six. Level seven. We have just left up to level eight. Level 15. We're now at level 20. Level 23. Level 25. Just hit level 28. We finally hit level 20. Level 30. 30. Level 34. We're now level 35. Level 30. That is level 37. Level, 30. level 40. Make sure to like and subscribe for more bangers like this one. One million on the way. Can I hit level 40 in today's video? We are going to find out. So drop a like at the video if you're going to watch the video all the way through. And subscribe to the channel if you're excited. And as you can see on the timer, there's about five seconds left until season seven officially starts. And now the timer has started. Let's go ahead, load up a build, load up season seven. Now, obviously, this is post-con, so I already know what happens. But I'm going to walk you guys through the whole process of how we hit level 40 in today's video. So I load up the park. Season seven's here. And the park is glitched, and I can't spin my wheel. And I'm trying to claim my level one reward, and it's contacting 2K, and we get an error. Oh, and I got dashboarded. Okay. Well, not the best start to season seven, but we got back on the game, loaded it up. We're looking at the rewards, and as you can see, just a bunch of, you know, stuff we don't really need, you know, besides like a plus one three point shooting sleeve, you know, maybe a plus one badge point affiliation mascots you know we got a sue xp coins but we got nba mascots it's level 40 probably the best level 40 will award all year now as you can see the timer is going to be going the entire video and it is accurate to the gameplay as well so it's always knowing what we're doing but anyways i just you know looking around the park i went to the rack trying to figure out what i should do didn't really have any teammates so i decide you know what i'm gonna load up to the rack with randoms i can see these are the teammates i got and we were going crazy. I don't know why I had my Ruffles jersey on. It was a glitch jersey. I'm getting contact dunks. I'm shooting threes. I'm doing my thing, right? You know, so much you can do as a random. But look at the score. We're down nine. I'm trying to keep us in the game. It's a six-point game. Other team calls a timeout. And we end up losing this game by, like, 30 points. Um, I tried my best to keep us in the game, but we couldn't do it. But I hit level two, our first rep up of the entire video. But... I just play with the randoms and these are so bad bro Holy shit. as you can see i wasn't very excited but we actually hit level four on the first game so i went from level one to four on my first game of the season which was a wreck game now i decided to go back in with randoms time to go back in the wreck man i wasn't very excited about it after the first game but you see we got two goat tier teammates and i was dunking on dudes i was going crazy you see we were forcing turnovers i was getting contact dunks i was running the break i was shooting pull up threes i was in my bag i just needed the teammates to you know do their part but look at they weren't really hitting me open look at these shot questionable shots they were taking i was you know it's wreck randoms iq if you've played in the wreck with randoms you know how it goes um, but when I did get the ball, I did my thing. You see, there's a less than a minute left. We're playing good defense. We get a steal. I get the ball right here in crunch time. We're trying to, you know, keep the possession alive. They foul me and I hit the clutch free throws to seal the deal. Almost the dagger right here with the corner three to give us a 10 point lead. And we end up winning our first game of season seven here on the road to level 40. And we hit level five that game. So we already got five levels down. Now you see a bunch of the guys back out. We get new teammates because I stayed. And we get into the next game. Now we're an hour into it already. An hour into this level 40 race already. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. How long is it going to take? You see I'm getting steals. I'm playing defense. You see our team in the scoreboard at the top or the bottom right. We're at 30 points. I'm throwing it off the glass. We shooting threes. We doing it all. Okay. I was going crazy. Now I only had seven points that game. Um, 
yeah, they, these dudes were ball hogging pretty heavy. Uh, they, I think I got in the uh, game with like four other guys and they just weren't hitting me. So it was whatever. I hit level six. I get a new team right here. So maybe I'll get the ball this game and a win. You know, the first game we lost. The second game, I didn't get the ball, but we won. The third game is right here. Let's see what we can do. An hour and 40 into it. You see I'm getting on the fast break. Corner three. You already know what color that is. I'm not missing open in the wreck. Stop playing. We pointing at dudes. We getting disrespectful out here. And at the half, I already have more points than I did in the last game. Got the KD size of on shooting over those 46, 33, now 49, 33. The build, the, the, the build going crazy out here. Link in the description if you want the build. You see, they're leaving me wide open. My teammates are kind of taking a while to realize I'm wide open. But hey, we got to deal with what we got to deal with. And I dropped 33 points and five assists in just my third game of season seven. And we still on the record with it. We haven't even played a park game left yet. Look at everybody's repping up <laughs> except for your boy. That's unfortunate, but we are 85% to level seven and we are two hours into this level 40 race. You know, we claim a couple of our rewards and guess what? I picked up a couple teammates. I picked up my boy Solo and I picked up Jay Curry. So now I'm going into the wreck with two other people that I know, but we also had two randoms on our team and I was going crazy. You see, I'm attacking the basket, greening my dunks. This is my 99 dunk build. So I was in my bag when it came to driving to the basket. You see, we're down two. I dot the corner. Jay Curry wide open. We're up four right now. Jay Curry open in the, the corner again. I'm dotting. And look at, we end up winning this game by 14 points. Seal the deal in the fourth quarter. I had 24 points and 14 assists. I mean, I'm out here doing it all. Player of the game. And we repped up and hit level seven. Things are starting to look very good after a slow, rocky start with the first two rec games. But you see, I'm claiming my rewards. The team green releases, whatever. We get right back into the wreck with those same teammates. And I actually picked up a fourth teammate, my boy Hydrix. So now we're playing with four people I know, including myself, and one random. Now, this game was a thriller, okay? As you can see at the half, things are going pretty decent. You know, it's a one-point game, though. I have 14 points. And there's a guy on the other team with 20 points. Like, we're not... I don't know. I think Solo was guarding him. Our defense was bad. We're down seven here with three minutes to go. We get a steal. We need to come back in this game. We need to win this game. I dot solo. He shoots the fade in the corner, and that is green. Come on. We need to win this game. Oh, ISO. I'm dotting the random on our team. He greens it. I'm trusting everybody on our team. We are down three points. I get open for three. Bang. Come on. That is a tie game. Under a minute to go. I'm driving to the basket. I tie up the game again. 56-56. We need a stop. They go to the basket, and they get a foul. They end up making both those free throws. I get the ball. Fade away to the top of the key. Oh, my gosh. I'm going crazy. We're up one. We need to stop. And this dude hits a yellow three in the corner. 16 seconds left. We need a bucket. I got the ball. Old ISO. The first clutch time of the entire video. Six seconds. I'm taking the two to tie up the game with just six seconds left. We got to get a stop here. We cannot allow any points. Two seconds. One second. He's going to the basket. And he missed it. And we are going to overtime just three hours in to this level 40 race. And we are already having a crazy game right here first bucket in overtime i take it to tie game my boy hydrix not shooting the smartest shot in the corner right there i dot uh jay curry for a wide open three and he missed it he misses the open three now we're down to 65 63 i dot jay curry again another open three and he greens it we're down one point right now we intentionally foul get the ball back after they make their free throws i take the smart two we foul again and we are down one right now he makes the first free throw misses the second six seconds we gotta score loose ball i get it not much time left i hit solo we need any kind of bucket 70 to 68 he gets fouled two three seconds left inbounded to me for the tie and i missed it i had to go up with it a heavily layup and as you can see the stats are looking rough. I mean, Jay Curry shot two or what is that? Two for eight on open threes that game. I had 33 points, seven assists, two steals, and we end up losing in overtime. Unfortunate events, but I just hit level eight. We are three hours into it. And just a side note, it is harder to rep up on next gen than current gen. So if you're wondering why it's taking so long to get some of these levels on next gen, if you are a current gen player, it is harder to rep up. Anyways, we get into another random rec game. 
um we don't have as much uh teammates as we did the last time we have just jay curry and me and we end up winning by a lot i scored uh 24 points had seven assists and everybody's ripping up except for me i'm up the left out out here man we are 82 percent to level nine and right here we get into another game i'm still playing with jay curry and solo we end up losing by 15 points and look at jay curry's three pointers i mean come on my boy you gotta hit a shot uh, it was looking bad they were leaving him open and he just couldn't hit but we hit level nine we are three percent to level 10 um we end up getting a couple teammates leaving here and i was like you know what i gotta hit this level 40 as fast as possible so i went in play with randoms and randoms is working out for the most part for me you see we get uh, uh teammates right here we get into this game and i had a solid game you see i'm hitting threes we're getting steals and we kind of you know they were dotting me in the corner you know these randoms were fine you see we're we're up four points i shoot a corner three we're up seven points we end up winning this game by 11 points and i had 24 in the game with a good amount of assists a couple steals to go along with it and i won player of the game but i didn't rep up I don't know what was going on there but anyways you see a, a lot of those randoms left even if you win like some of them just only play one game so they're out get into another game you see we're up 11 in this game i just wasn't getting the ball i think i was in a game with four people that knew each other so i was like the odd man out but when i did get the ball i was hitting my shots but they just weren't giving me the ball a lot so i wasn't getting a lot of action this game but like i said when i did get the ball you best believe i was hooping look at me yamming on that boy in the paint hey 99 driving dunk that's what it does we end up winning this game by six points and we do rep up and now we are officially a fourth of the way there just five hours in but we are level 10 obviously the early on levels are going to be easier than those later on levels if you know what i'm saying because uh, the bars do get slower but we are level 10 17 percent of the way they're level 11 uh you see i back out we get a cut you know we try to claim the rewards and i go to the park for the first time so the first five hours we're in the wreck i go to the park i look around the courts i'm trying to find a teammate and i see this guy named you snag by the end of the court I, you know, I look at his 2K card, and I invite him to the squad, and I hop on the spot. I've never played with this guy. I don't know who he is, and I always say in my videos, I don't have a lot of teammates sometimes, so I just invite people that are in the park that join my park. A lot of y'all don't believe me. I think one video I said that, and people were saying I was capping. I don't know if y'all just expect me to always have teammates just because I'm a YouTuber, but I do play with randoms a lot. You're going to see in this video, 90% of my teammates are going to be randoms okay so i picked this guy up and we were going crazy there was a 2k lego drive event going on so it was giving up double rep and by the way if you ever notice that 10 percent xp bonus and how i'm getting that because i pre-ordered the game but look at me going crazy i was ice win with you snag in the corner and we were doing our thing i mean this dude's leaving me open you gotta respect me come on we were streaking up we did not lose a game with you snag you see that was just our second game right there and look at we're getting a decent amount percent now in my opinion I don't think this double rep was working you're gonna see after every game our percent going up let me know in the comments do you think this double rep was working i mean look at i'm getting like oh 14 percent in that game on level 10 i don't know if that's working maybe it is because i haven't hit level 40 since like season two so maybe i'm just not you i don't remember how the bars work on next gen but yeah i i was kind of confused but look at we were streaking up you snag was hitting his shots i was hitting my shots i was doing my thing on the ice so we were both doing our things defensively and look at me i mean i'm attacking the basket i'm shooting three i'm doing everything which is why this build is so goaded and i'm hitting level 11 with my boy you snag in the park drop a like on the video right now if you would hoot with me if you if i set you a squad invite in the park because that's literally what me and you snag were doing right here just streaking up in the wildcats park going crazy i'm gonna add my boy snag you or you snag yo look at his profile picture yo yo and as you can see i actually ended up adding him as well we went on an 11 game win streak but and we're 24 percent to level 12 and then i ended up hopping off because i had a friend that made a new build that wanted to grind some badges and he was in the beats event if you guys don't know about the beats event this event gives you double badge progression so i was like okay i'm gonna help him out i want to be a w friend we ended up streaking up we ended up playing this post score this 7-3 post score was playing us a lot and we ended up hitting level 12 after beating this post score multiple times i think he actually played us like four Four times he could not buy a win against us so he eventually just gave up but yeah we were just streaking in this beats event going crazy you see we're almost at nearly seven hours into this and we are just now hitting level 13 
and we've done wreck we've done a little park now we're playing the beats event now we're on a 10 game win streak make it a 12 game win streak now a 13 game win streak i mean we're simply just going crazy but this happened hey man what the f yo you're asking to lose you're actually asking for it as you can see we were playing an ai player and my boy will aka a cardi he likes to troll he, he's we let me know if you can relate to this in the comments you, you ever had that one friend that you be hooping with 2k with and Leah, he could not guard the ai I mean, you're gonna see what happens in the gameplay but anyways you have that one friend that just can't take a game seriously whether it's 2k or another game there's only a certain amount of time before they just start trolling and as you can see i mean he was shooting post fadeaways double team from beyond limitless so i mean i guess we lost but like he purposely lost us the game and was laughing about it but yeah i got a little triggered off it but it's okay we got back in the court i hit level 14 and we are nearly eight hours in to this race and we you know got back on the court and started streaking up again i mean if we never hopped off because my boy will was trolling we probably would have gone on like a 30 plus game win streak but look at us hitting level 15 in the beats event let me know if y'all play this event on next gen because it gets double badge progression and if you are on a new build it actually goes crazy like this event can get you your build max down badges in literally just a couple hours if you're winning but anyways after the event was over we were 51 percent to level what level 16 we're already at level 15. Now, i went to the theater event and i saw there was a 1v1 losers out event going on so i went ahead played it i was gonna see how much rep we could get from a game on here maybe this could be the method you see i was getting contact dunks i mean look at me cooking up on the one's green you better guard up my boy look at him disrespected me i could take the two though too this is what i love about this build you see i'm getting steals even in stops i'm throwing it down on him because this build can really do everything i mean look at this i'm jumping basically on top of this dude i'm putting this dude on the floor i'm getting disrespectful the very next play no this is not an instant replay no it's Bro. not it's just me booming on his head again and putting him to the floor i mean this build gets disrespectful with it once again link to the build video in the description we are 59 percent to level 16 and after i figured out that the 1v1 event didn't get me a lot of xp i went back to the twos in the park with my boy will aka a cardi and we started to streak up a little bit you see we're a little over nine hours into this level 40 race we're playing the last couple hours of this double rep event that was going on even though i still don't think it was giving me double rep i mean damn how many times are we to put someone on the ground i mean i'm going so crazy in this gameplay that it's interrupting what i'm trying to say but anyways yeah i don't think it was giving double rep maybe it was y'all can let me know in the comments as you can see we're getting about 13 percent a game we're nearly hitting level 16 right now almost 10 hours into this race once again what are y'all thinking I, well, how much time is it gonna take me to hit this level 40 now for some of y'all it might take the whole season to hit level 40 some of y'all have probably never hit level 40 but if you're if you have a 92 win percent like me and you win often especially on next gen you know to get xp all you have to do is win and have a good teammate right now. current gen i think you have to like throw lobs or something but next gen it's just about winning and i have a 92 win percent so i can hit level 40 very fast as you can see we're wrapping up pretty fast we're already at level 16 we're streaking up in the park nobody can compete with us you know we went crazy in the wreck with randoms we went crazy in beats we went crazy on the one we went court now we're in the park for the second time and we're going crazy look at we reading lanes i mean yo our defense is going crazy i'm open you already know what happens when i'm open i'm green okay and now we on what a seven game win streak i think the double rep is still going on we're at 63 percent to level 17 and the games keep piling on as now we cross a 10 hour mark we are now 80 percent to level 17 i end up hopping off the court because the 2k lego drive event ended we end up claiming a couple of these rewards but i i decided to pop an xp coin and go into the wreck we got a 30 minute xp coin from the le from the levels of rep of going up look at me fast break first play i'm going off the backboard i mean this was a master class game right here our first master class game of this video look at off the backboard again and it's only four to zero Yo, I was low-key wild, and I, I low-key was in my bag. I just knew I was going to go crazy this game. And you're going to see in this gameplay that we end up going crazy. You see, I'm already drawing double, triple teams in the paint, kicking out to my teammate right here. I get handed off the ball. That's green. You can't leave your boy open in the wreck. 
because I'm not missing in the wreck. We go to the basket, easy, quick drop, and we're already up seven points to start this game. I'm also getting steals. Just put that dude on cold. Going to the basket. You better get out of the paint if I'm driving to the basket on this build because you're going to get yammed on and you're going to get put to cold. I mean, this build is tough. You see, we go into the, to the three-point line, too, because we can shoot that thing, too. Don't get it twisted. We can drive, but we can also shoot another steal right here. We're on the fast break. End up dumping it off to my center with the lob. 33 to 14. 33 to, we just kept running up this score. I mean, look at the score. And I only have one teammate I know on this team, which is my boy Will, a.k.a. Acardi. You see, we dot him in the corner. All these other guys are randoms. I didn't know him. I had no communication with them. 52 to 29. I'm dotting the dude in the corner. We going crazy. Look at the score, y'all. I'm throwing it off the glass again. It is sick. It is 80 to 52. And they still leaving your boy. Oh, how are they leaving me open at this point? We shooting over those again. And we end up scoring 46 points with 10 assists? Oh, that's a master class, y'all. Yo, I just went up two levels, I think. What the f And as you can hear my reaction, I went up two levels in this game. We went from level 16 to level 18 in one rec game with that 30 minute XP token. That's a huge W. I end up activating another token and we get some XP right here. We almost at level 19, but then look at this. Everybody lock in guys. Everybody lock in Parker. As you can see, I was in game chat talking to my teammates and I'm over here putting dudes on the floor. That's not an instant replay. I just did it again. I mean, it's come becoming natural at this point. I'm over here telling my teammates to lock in, and I'm over here putting dudes in, in, a, in a grave, okay? <laughs> you see, I was player of the half. We ended up winning that game, and I dropped, what, 36, 38 points? C come on, bro. I'm almost dropping almost 40-point triple doubles nearly. Level 19 as well, and we are almost 12 hours into this race. We end up claiming some of these rewards, and we hop right back into the wreck with my boy, Will. And this game, I was dotting up. Don't get it twisted. Like, I could drop 40, 50 in the wreck. I can go crazy with randoms. But it's not like I'm ball hugging. Like, I, if I'm dropping 40 or 50, it's because I'm shooting all open shots. You know, I'm not one of those dudes that's going to force it to try to score. I'm also going to dish it. So if you open, if I'm drawing double teams, which usually I am drawing double teams on the wreck, I'm going to hit the open dude. So right here in this game, you're going to see me getting a lot of assists. You know, a little more assists than I did in the last game where I think I had like... The last couple games, I had 10 assists and like six or eight assists. But yeah, this game, we end up getting, I think, 12 assists. And I was just hitting the open guy. I was making the right play. That's what I try to do in wreck. Every time I play wreck with randoms, the key to the success with randoms, you're going to win most of the time because obviously sometimes you're going to lose with them because that's just how the wreck is, is you got to just make the right play almost on some Jokic stuff. If you ever watched Jokic play basketball, he dead ass just goes to make the right play, whether it's shoot, pass, move off ball whatever you see at halftime i have nine assists at halftime in this game y'all I'm, I'm closing out the game we have 20 points in the fourth quarter we're still going crazy an absolute blowout in this game look at go up fake it bail it out to the quarter that's another assist right there we're over here getting team takeover the chemistry with randoms right now is getting too crazy and after that game, you know, a couple of these rec games, you're going to see, I end up friending some of these guys, making some, you know, teammates through some of these games. And I ended up squatting up with this random team that I had just played with in the rec. And that brings us to our next game. Now, this game was pretty crazy. Okay, you see, we're starting off with a contact dunk. And what I like to call this game is I'm going to give it a little spoiler. I like to call this game the 52 point masterclass. Because that's what it was. Look at the filet over the double team right there. I mean, it doesn't get more craftier than that. Off the backboard, you already know what I'm doing on the fast break, okay? We dropped 52 points in this game right here. I mean, we were going crazy. Look at the Euro right there. Look at the poster right there. When I'm driving to the basket on this bill, it's too much. But then you give me space, and that's green. We are almost 13 hours into it. You see the stats. I'm locked in. I'm throwing it down on them. They're calling timeouts. It's getting bad. We're up 20 in the fourth quarter on the fast break. Easy lay. Come on, man. I mean, at this point, I might. Oh, look at front fade three. Dang, I was feeling it right there. And we throwing it. <laughs> Yo, I mean, there's just too many clips. 
right here. He's throwing it up. I, you know, he low key set me up, but it's okay. It's okay. We, 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 we're fine with it. We'll get a three. We like threes better than twos, anyways. You see, dudes are quitting with just a couple seconds left. 52 points, three rebounds, seven assists. I mean, come on, bro. Look at look at my boy Will stats too. We got a trip, almost a quadruple dump. God damn. I mean, we were hooping, right? Almost 13 hours in, and I am level 20, officially halfway there, but technically not halfway there because obviously the first 20 levels are a lot easier than the last 20 levels, if you know what I'm saying. But we have reached a level 20 just under 13 hours ago. You see a couple guys end up getting offline. It's okay. We go into the next game. We were up seven points with 50 seconds left, and I'm shooting front fades. That's why you don't full court press me because I can really shoot that thing 28 points. Two steals, three blocks, three rebounds. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Level 21 now. We're repping up in, in another again. I mean, I feel we just repped up. We already repping up again. We're 10% away there, level 22. As you can see, I back out, claim a couple of my reward series. We got the jersey, the vest, the jersey, moving on to level 22. But then I found out that the strikeout event was going. You see, I'm a, I'm approaching the event center just over 13 hours into this race. And I'm approaching the event center. And I heard that there were some double, triple, quadruple rep event going on right now. So I end up walking in with randoms and I'm like, okay, let's see what's really going on here. You see, we get some decent teammates here. We got Dinero play up next. A couple, I think one of them was actually a subscriber. So that was good. And we get into our first game. And let me explain how this event works. Okay, so you get into the event. It's a 3v3 matchmaking event. You can play with randoms. You can play with a squad. It don't matter. Now, as you can see, you're going to see in the beginning of this gameplay, you know, they don't really trust me yet. But then eventually they trust me to start isolating and I start hooping. But basically, you start out at floor one, right? Floor one is single rep. If you win, you go up a floor. There is a total of four floors. So floor one gives single rep. Floor two gives double rep. Floor three gives triple rep. And floor four gives quadruple rep. But if you lose, you get reset to floor one. And if you re lose three times in this two hour event, you cannot play the event again until a new one comes out. Now, obviously, these events come in intervals. So, like, every two hours, there's a new... Or every hour, there's a new two-hour event. Um, but, yeah, I was just messaging my teammate right here to be ready to shoot because, I don't know, I was dotting this subscriber right here. I don't know if he was nervous. Some people do get nervous when they play with me, which, I don't mean... Come on, it's just 2K. We're just here to have fun, right? But, yeah, I was dotting him and he wasn't shooting. So, I messaged him that. Anyways, we get into the next game. We're playing GOAT tiers, gold tiers. And we ended up losing. But, as you can see, I got double rep because we were on the second floor. So... Once again, I'm back to play. I mean, I've been playing with randoms the whole video. It's just sometimes I have like one teammate, maybe two in the rack. But the, right here, I was I had no teammates. I was dead ass playing with randoms. So we ro reload back into the floor one. And, you know, we lost again. And I'm like, yo, I mean, this is just unfortunate. I'm talking to the other dude in game chat like, damn, GG's. He was a subscriber. He was saying, uh, you know, GG's or whatever. So I ended up loading back in. And we have two GOAT tier teammates. So, okay, if there's a team, this is the team, right? Now, obviously, in the beginning, they might not trust me with the ISO, but they started to trust me with the ISO. They let me lead the team, and we got to floor two right after game one, of course. We go on to floor two. This is the floor with double rep, and we get another win. You see, I got 16 points shooting 100%. I mean, I was locked in, right? I dot the quarter. Reboard goes ahead. It hits that grid, and we're now we're on floor three. This is the highest we've gotten to. So now we're rewarded with triple rep. Triple rep, y'all. Now, obviously, we got double rep for that game because that was floor two. You don't get triple rep unless you are on floor three. But the event ended. I did get my rewards, but the event ended. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go back to wreck. I picked up my boy Solo as my only teammate. Actually, no, my boy Will and Solo as my teammates here for the wreck. Other, other teammates are randoms. But I went back into the wreck just 14 hours uh, into the level 40 race. And I decided, okay, we're going to play a little bit of wreck while we wait for the next strikeout event to come out. Because like I said, they came out in intervals. You know, you'd wait an hour and then there's a new two hour strikeout event. Then you wait another hour. Sometimes they were back to back. It was just random, right? Anyways, we ended up winning this game. I did not rep up, unfortunately, but we are 91% 
to level 22. So I was like, okay, okay, we going crazy. So a couple guys left. We get some new refilled teammates. We get back into the wreck. And this game was insane. I mean, this might be one of the craziest games of this video. Um, just take a look at the scoreboard. Right now we have 16 to 11, right? It, it's, it was just a five point game. Now here's when things get bad. When I point at this dude after I green over him, yeah. After that, it got bad, okay? Now it's 24 to 11 after that contested assist. Now it's 26 to 11, 15 point lead. We got our random jump dunking on dudes after jumping on them. Now it's 32 to 11 after that dot. I'm going to the basket and where's the defense? It is 37 to 14 and I'm getting fast break dunks. 39 to 14 and I'm yamming on that boy. Got to hold up under 20 guys. I mean, you heard me. I was in game chat talking about we got to hold these dudes under 20 points throughout the entire rec game. I don't think there's a more disrespectful call out than that. Another random getting another poster. 62 18 i'm in the corner and i'm looking at the crowd oh close game right now we have to lock in i go to overtime <laughs> yo you were my i was trolling bro i was dead ass being sarcastic trolling talking about overtime and it's 78 to 22. i mean dude i don't care who you playing with i ain't gonna lie it's getting disrespectful 110 to 30 personally personally y'all I wouldn't let that happen. We had 12 assists. We missed one shot with what, 36 points? And now we are level 22, just 15 hours into this level 40 race. It's looking good. It's honestly looking good. We get into another rec game right here. I'm shooting top of the key fadeaways to start it. I'm just in my bag at this point. Oh my, oh my, yo, pushing into the floor? Okay, okay, we didn't have to do all that, okay? We get the ball right here, another green, another shot. It is what it is. And it was actually a close game. You see, it's a four-point game with three minutes left. I get the ball. That's green. We are up seven now. And we ended up winning this game by 16. So, yeah, we ended up blowing them out at the end of the game there. Uh, we did not rep up this game, unfortunately. But we are 74% to the next level. Ended up backing out here and going to the second strikeout event. So now I'm here when the event started. The last time I got there a little late. So I end up getting into this event as soon as it starts, loading into the event, getting into the 3v3. Look at there's two hours left and I have a full team this time. Probably one of the only times you'll see me with a full team the entire video, unless I'm on the twos. But yeah, so we get into the event. And honestly, after looking at this gameplay of all the strikeout events I played, I honestly think I played better and had more success with randoms than my own teammates. That might sound crazy. But yeah, we were dunking on this dude right here. We were going crazy in the first game. Look at me like on some Revis Island stuff. What y'all know about Revis Island? Let me know. Anyways, another catch and shoot, another green to cherry pick to end that game. But things would get crazy because on floor two, we're already playing a full goat tier team. And this was a competitive game. First play, Will goes to the basket, gets a little contact, dunk animation. And next play, Solo's jumping at the guard. He gets a wide up and fade away three, and that's green. So we're already down one. We're running a pick and roll. We're trying to get good teammate grade, but we're also trying to win the game because we can't be losing out here. We can't strike out out here. This guard dots me in the corner. Horrible corner defense by me. I, I dropped and he saw it and he dotted it. But I make up for it right here. We get a steal. I hit solo. He goes all the way to the basket, gets the easy dunk. And now it's just a two point game. We're back on defense. They're hitting the pop. He's driving to the basket and good block by Will. But we don't get the 50 50 ball right there. Four seconds left. This dude tries to shoot a fadeaway. It's actually a really good shot, but he missed it. Thank gosh he missed that. No energy almost. And I get this step back three to go. And now we have a one point lead. I have takeover. I'm going to the basket, easy quick drop. And just like that, we were, went from down two to up three. So a huge swing right here. This dude walks back on Will and somehow that's open. I thought he was there a little bit. Guess not, 11 to 11. This dude's jumping at my spin back. And I don't know what my boy was going up with right there. A heavily layup, just a bad take. Then they get a wide open three. He laid it somehow. So we get back on offense. I'm just like, yo, we're taking the two. We need a stop right here. 13 to 11. They're in the PNR. He gets hit by the screen. 
And just like that, now they got the lead again. I mean, this is just a back and forth game, but just like that, he's jumping at me. And I don't care. That's green. 16, 14. I'm begging for a stop. I pinch a little bit. He misses. Open with takeover. I get the fast break. Take my easy two. And we are now up four points against this full go tier lineup. They get an open fade away. He misses it. They get the easy offensive rebound, though. I'm trying to play the lane in this corner. We're up four points. We cannot give up a bucket here. Trying to keep it a win guaranteed right here. He gets a good fadeaway. Misses again. Thank gosh. Those dudes were missing that. I get the contact down 20 to 14 against this sweaty team. And look at his solo getting the steal. Hits Will on the fast break. Easy quick drop. And we end up getting away from that old goat tier lineup and hitting level 23, just approaching 16 hours in. And I was locked in. I mean, I wasn't even missing that game. We playing comp. It don't matter. Level 23 is here on my Jordan stuff. We get into floor three. We're playing more goat tier, gold tier guys. And yeah, it was just bad. We end up losing this game because you were probably wondering earlier oh, after that good win we just had. Well, why did he say that he had more success with, ran success with randoms than these guys? But yeah, we ended up losing here. It was just tough. Now we get reset back to floor one. And it always sucks when you're at floor three or floor four. You're usually playing a lot better players on those floors because obviously they had to win to get there. So when you go back to down the floor one, it's just like demoralizing. Cause like, you're like, damn, we playing some bums. Like I'm trying to get back up to level floor four. I'm trying to get this rep. Now we gotta play these dudes. Like it's just tough. Anyways, floor two, I'm shooting the pull up three. We get it to go. And now we're back up to floor number three to potentially secure that triple rep and maybe the quadruple rep. I mean, look at this rep is hitting. 40% right there. That is massive. We get into the next game. We're up 18 to 14. I get the easy, ooh, I, I missed it. I, I missed it, but hey, we like threes over twos, so that's a good miss in my book. That's a W miss, okay? We win that game, and now we got triple rep. Triple rep, look at how much percent. I just got 26% in that game, and now we are finally on floor number four, but it wasn't gonna be easy against a full gold and goat tier lineup on floor four. And we knew we had to secure this game. Right off the bat, hit Will. He hits the three. What an amazing start. We're up three to zero. We get a chase down block from Solo right there. Another huge stop. Exactly what it needed. I dot the corner. And now we're up six to zero. You're probably like, Double H, how is this intense game? These dudes are missing wide open. You're up nine to zero with this green right here because we know you green in that. How is this intense? Well, it's nine to zero. I want y'all to remember that right here. I'm telling Solo, don't give up a three, but this guy makes a good move and he gets a three. So now it's nine to three. We're up six. I get a wide up at three and now we're up 12 to three. You're like, probably like, oh, he had to miss that. If it's going to be a close game. Nope. Didn't miss it. 12 to five. We give up a two right here. Look at like a guaranteed win. Get another two. It's 14 to five. I mean, it looks like we won't even have to pay attention to this game, but look at what this dude just hit some crazy stuff out the corner. 14 to 8. They get another 3. This dude is just cooking. 14 to 11. This dude single-handedly bringing his team back in the game as he gets a heavily contest on my quick drop. Literally pulled me out of a quick drop animation. Something that does not happen often. He has takeover, and it was just 14 to 5. Now it's 14 to 14 as he greens that half-court shot. And I'm like, yo. And then I shoot a fadeaway contested. I'm rattled right now. I'm like, yo, what are we doing, y'all? What are we doing? And then he hits that. I'm like, dude, we are just gave up a 12-0 run on floor four. Will gets a good shot right here. Now it's a tie game, 17 to 17. There is no way we are going to give this up on floor four and get reset again. We can't let it happen. We give up a two. It's 19 to 17. We're in the worst position possible. I'm trying to get a three. Probably should have shot the first shot. I got sharp takeover. I'm dotting Will over here. He goes ahead, kicks it back out because we want a three. We're not confident in our defense after giving up a 12-0 run. I hit the pop. It's not there. Hits me back a little late. It's not there anymore. Three seconds, two seconds, fade away mid-range. It goes in, but we need a stop. 19-19. Kid, we get it. He drives to the basket. I'm there to help. And I get the game saving contest. If we can secure, I'm like, yo, solo, be careful, be careful. And he secures the quick drop. And we somehow get out of there alive and get our four times rep, which gives me to 100% the level 24. Yeah, that's right. I didn't hit level 24. Not sure how that's possible. But yeah, all that just to lose the next game, unfortunately. So yeah, that was tough. Uh, we did hit level 24 in the process though, but we were only on floor four for what, a game? 
it, this event was definitely tough because this is mascot season everyone's trying to hit level 40 so they see a two three four times rep event going up you got all the sweats in this event at the time because this is the first event basically of, of, of the best event you're gonna get all all season to hit level 40 so we go back into the tunnel after that unfortunate loss and look at now we're playing bombs it's like damn bro like we really just had four times rep in the palm of our hands and now we don't but it's okay because we're going to climb the ladder and we're going to try to get back there but like once again this event is in only in two hour intervals so you know by the time we get up there the event's probably gonna end but you know another nonetheless we're gonna try to get there and we're gonna play as much of this event as possible to maximize our rep to make sure this timer stops in the lowest amount of time possible for a next gen level 40. now once again you can definitely hit level 40 a lot faster on current gen but next gen it takes a little longer but that's okay we're back up to floor three as you can see right there we just got double rep from that game we are 40 percent to level 25 drop a like on the video if you are still watching the video to this point and comment goat tier if you are still watching the video right now that way i'll know if you're a loyal watching the video at this random spot in the video comment goat tier in the comment section we are over 17 hours into this level 40 race and we have four times rep i mean look at how much rep we just got what was that 30 percent i mean being on the fourth floor is such an advantage it's not even funny four times rep y'all but look at will went up with a bad shot it's 21 to 20 if we give up a bucket we lose he shoots an open three misses it we don't get the rebound though and this dude's in takeover he's trying to rim run when he makes it so it's just like we lose off of not getting the rebound going up with a heavily layup and then giving up the layup uh, not not a very good stretch of a possession for will right there but we do hit level 25 but we got knocked out we got struck out so we got eliminated from the event and i'm i'm just like damn bro like we'll, we'll we'll try the next strikeout event so let's claim our rewards and let's go back to the wreck until the next event so i'll hop in with solo and will again we back into the wreck a little over 17 hours in and yeah we made that team quit <laughs> pretty fast okay and actually making teams quit in the wreck is very good because if i have an a in the second quarter they leave it's like i get the amount of rep i get in a full game you get right here i'm pointing at the dudes that it's cold a bunch of those dudes quit out we end up winning by 30 right there i mean things were getting disrespectful right um we got a couple uh, basically my whole team wrapping up except for me we're at 55 percent to level 26 and immediately i hop out go back in and we're going back to the strikeout event because the new strikeout event's out okay and this is our third strikeout event and you see i'm hitting the contested shot for game right there and we're already at the fourth floor getting four times right you see we're on a seven game win streak in this event seven game win streak immediately out the gate we were not messing around this time now i did hit level 26 and level 27 in the midst of those seven games but we were just going crazy on the floor floor i mean i could show y'all every single game but what it's just us blowing teams out four times rep you see it was going crazy eight game win streak and look at us we're 62 percent to level 20 i mean we're getting 20 percent a game that's just insane we end up playing a good team right here a little gold team that ended up rage quitting mid-match because we were going crazy i mean we were really feeling unstoppable during this third event as you can see we are 80 percent to level 28 we are almost in the 30s at this point look at this was a close game 20 to 20 we end up securing the win and then the event ends as i'm 99.6 percent to level 28 so i end up going back to the wreck okay after the event ends look at the fillet layup i mean we're going crazy we are nearly 20 hours into it and i'm still grinding we've played a lot of wreck we've played a lot of this strikeout event look at me front fading i mean i'm just i'm feeling it right now look at this is a close game too i mean that was a close game one point game 80 or no i'm tripping i'm tripping i'm tripping it was a 20 point game <laughs> yeah i thought it was 84 i was like hold on i don't think this was supposed to be a close game. nah it was a blow it was a blow but we going crazy you see i'm activating the coin though we getting into the event it's double it's double wrapping the wreck you know i gotta go crazy but we hit level 28 the game previously with no animation so right now i'm at level 28 
We're in another rec game. You see me in the corner. That's green. Come on, man. I was out here going crazy. There wasn't a lot of... I'm not going to lie. I don't think there was one rec game where I played bad. Like, there was some rec games where maybe I sh didn't shoot as well. Maybe there were some rec games where I just didn't score as much because I didn't get the ball because I was playing rounds. But I was going crazy. Look at 35 points. 11 assists. Look at Solo with the triple double, too. I mean, we were in our backs. Look at the double rep hitting, too. We're at 78% to level 29. And then we get into a game. Now, this game was crazy. We were playing a full five in this game. They were running a two, three zone with this sweaty point guard. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to full court press this point guard the whole game. You see, I already forced a turnover. And I'm like, I'm going to clamp this dude. And you're going to see in this rec game, Double H, yes, myself, get into that Kawhi Leonard mode. Now, we had AIs on our team. So I'm telling you right now, this point guard would have been graded out, spoiler alert, if he didn't have AIs. Um, getting shot over by his teammates, getting free assists. But look at me. I have this dude box. I already have a steal. He can't. He's left, right, and trying to left, right around the court. He has nothing. Shot clock violation. Okay, look at He's trying to pass to the dude to shoot over the AI. Doesn't work. Easy, fast break dunk. I was getting a lot of fast breaks this game. Okay, right. So it's already 5-0. to zero. And me and Solo already said before the game started, look at Our teammates are quitting. We're like, are we going to be able to beat a full five with AIs? Like, I don't know. We might have to quit out. Like, it's going to be tough. We're playing against a 2-3 zone. But look at I clamped him up again. Now he's cold. Fast break down. I'm up 7-0 from just clamping this dude. Look at He tries to dot the dude to shoot over the AI, and it works. So he gets teammate grade off that. But look at I mean, this was embarrassing for this dude. I have him clamped. He is in a box. We're going back to the fast break off an easy another stop. Look at him trying to get some teammate grade up, trying to dot the corners that have AIs guarding them. I mean, he really would have been great. He is lucky. We had AIs on our team. It was just me, Solo, a couple AIs, and a random. Look at him. He is boxed. He's been cold the entire game. He has been in all box. A 4x4. Four four. Send him to UPS tomorrow morning. You know what I'm saying? Free shipping type of box. Okay? Another steal. Another three. I mean, one second left in the first, and it's 22 to 6. Look at him trying to get more teammate grade. Didn't work that time. We get another fast break. Oh, you're in the way. You're in the way. Get out the way, boy. You back on the ground. Okay. It's getting disrespectful out here. All full five. Nah, I know if you play rec, you know this is disrespectful. We playing a full five. They are running a two, three zone. We have multiple AIs on our team and a random. And they're doing, they're getting done like this. 33 to 14. And this guard was still on cold. Look at the half. I have 16 points, six assists, but a lot of the, what I'm doing is not being put on the stat sheet. Look at fadeaway three. Oh my gosh. I mean, my defense was impeccable. Look at this force and a pickup. We on the PNR. Oh my, easy steal. We going down court. G give me, give me two. We up 24 points. Another steal. And a little inbound steal by my boy Solo. Easy quick drop. It is 55 to 29. Another steal from behind on this guard. I hit solo on the fast break. Easy dunk. Yo, my defense is first team old defense. Another steal. This dude couldn't breathe without me getting a steal on him. Off the glass, I'm getting disrespectful with it. I mean, damn. I mean, damn. This is this is one of the reasons why we were invited to the 2K League. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it if you saw those that series. Look at six steals, 40 points, eight assists. It doesn't get... Did you hear that stat line? 40 points, 8 assists, 6 steals against a full 5. I mean, come on, man. Level 29 as well, y'all see. But anyways, we on to the third strikeout event. And I ended up play, picking up my boy, Will. And I ended up picking that teammate from earlier, if you remember, you snag that I met in the park. Random teammate. We ended up picking him up for this event. So yeah, that's right. If you're a subscriber out there, you see I was talking to him in the party. I was actually giving him some advice on YouTube because he wanted to start a YouTube channel soon. But yeah, if you see me in the park, I, I, I'd be playing with randoms a lot. You might be playing against me thinking I'm playing with a guy I know. I'd be playing with randoms a good amount and I'd be picking them up. I don't, people probably, some people don't think so, but it's true. A lot of my boys don't be playing in 2K23. But anyways, you see we're getting double rep. The event multiplier is going up. We're going crazy. We're getting close to that 24 hour mark though, but we are getting quadruple rep right now. And look at how close we are to level 30, 95%. Speaking of level 30, the very next game, we hit level 30. Y'all, we are already three fourths of the way there. Well, technically not because the first 30 levels 
are actually like almost as easy as the last 10. That's crazy to say. Crazy to think about. But yeah, the last 10 levels are hard to get through. But anyways, we're still getting that quadruple rep. The rep is just going up and up. You see, we eventually lost though. But I ended up claiming my rewards and I actually got an affiliation mascot at, by the end of the event. So I was level 30 at the end of the event. You see, I got Lenny on. Yo, boy, Lenny. Drop a like for Lenny. But... You know, the next strikeout event started, the fourth strikeout event of this video so far. And you already know I'm getting straight into it. But this time, I'm playing with all randoms. I don't have a single set teammate here. So I walk in with randoms. You see, I actually met my boy Henny right here, um, who I, I, I think I played an event with him before, actually, as a random. And I ended up playing with him a, with a couple other events in this video because he was solid. Shout out to Henny. He's probably watching this video right now. Um, But yeah, you see we're blowing teams out. I mean, that game was 21-2. to two. I mean, yeah. 90% to level 31, y'all. We are getting close. We've made a lot of progress. We are 22 hours, 35 minutes into it. And yet again, we get another win. And just like that, we are level 31 officially. 22 hours, 36 minutes in, and we have hit the gold tier in the levels. It took a while, but we are here. I mean, this is pretty fast. Let me know. Do you think this is fast or short? slow in the comments i felt like this is pretty fast look at this game right here our random teammate probably the worst teammate we had on this team he left the corner wide open so we ended up losing on the fourth fourth floor unfortunately but i was like you know what i'm gonna pick up henny for another team and we ended up getting this goat tier on the team too he was a random guy that was outside the event center that we invited to the squad and we end up playing with him now even though i was playing with henny i didn't have communication with him but look at me oh my i almost got disrespectful with it again i mean Hey, we'll take a three over a two, though. That's a W miss right there. But so, yeah, we end up trying to climb our way back up to the fourth floor. We're at 17% to level 32. And we playing, you know, some bums. We playing some solid teams. Look at Crab. Oh, my gosh. I was feeling it that game. We get another win. We're on double rep. We're on our way to the third floor right now. 26% to level 32. We're playing a decent team right here. You know, nothing crazy, but nothing we can't handle. I'm backing it up, hitting Henny in the corner, and that's great. And we are back up to the fourth floor, just like that, getting quadruple rep just over 23 hours into this event. I mean, we're cooking. We're really getting this level 40. I mean, we're trying our hardest to get it as fast as we can on our next gen. But see, we get a little step back mid range by the, by the other random right there. Good shot, four times rep. And look at us, man. Oh my god, was that 20% on that bar? I mean, that's hitting. We get into another game right here. You see, we're playing an old gold tier team. Now, this was an intense game. Off the bat, I'm starting to notice that this dude's going to probably ISO the whole game. But we get a good defensive stop by my team right there. He throws it down, though. And that really irritating right there. Because I'm like, bro, we get a stop on a good team. And you just throw it right back. Even I'm standing right next to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... And then I go up with that. I'm trying to get a quick drop, and it gave me a layup. I don't know if that happens to anybody else. That's been happening to me lately, so that was irritating. So we're down 5-0 to zero to start this game. I dot the corner, and thank God he made that shot. Because if he missed that, it probably would have been a clip. But playing good defense right here on the ISO. Trying to get another stop. <clears throat> I'm all over the place. 5-3. to three. I need a stop right here. He's looking like he's struggling. He's trying to rim run. I'm there, though. Five seconds on the clock. No way we give up a bugger, right? And look at the pass, throws him out, but he missed it. He had, like, no energy. They get the rebound, though, and rebounds really can cost you in these 3v3 games. I mean, we get a rebound right there. That's huge, but we end up getting the stop anyways. We get the board. It's 5-3. to three. I'm bringing it down the court. I'm taking the easy two, and just like that, it went from looking really bad to a tie game, which is manageable. Tie game. We don't get a stop. It's okay, though. We're only down two. Nothing too crazy. This guy wanted to bring it up, and he shoots a heavily layup. I don't know what he was doing because I was isoing the whole time, and we weren't losing. So I don't know why he wanted to, like, take control randomly right there. So, but we do get a stop. I get the ball right here. It's 7-5. to five. I'm just trying to get a bucket at this point. I almost get baited. I end up do getting baited because I didn't go up. Almost throwing a turnover right here. I dive on it. Don't get it. Our teammate gets it. Six against. I'm like, yo, what is going on? This offense is looking horrific. What is happening? He hits me with one second left. I have to chuck this. I don't even get it off in time. And I'm rattled. I'm like mad irritated. But we do get a stop right there. Seven to five. The offense is looking pretty. I don't even know how what to call it. It's just out of control. It's not looking good. I get a two right here. Seven to seven. 
tie game. We get another stop. I'm open for three there. I don't know why I didn't take it, but I do score. So as long as we score, it's okay. Nine to seven. I almost get a steal right here, but 2K does not let me pick up the ball. So he ends up hop stepping, but I block it. I don't know why he was hop stepping. Boy, this ain't 2K 20. What are you doing? Step back right here. I should have shot it immediately, but I shoot it from half court and bam. Just like that, we went down from 5-0 to now we're up 12 to 7. So a huge change of events. This dude goes up with some crazy layup, and I would just assume he was gonna get the board because he was in a weird animation. I mean, they should have gave it to him. So I run down and I give up a corner three because apparently the dude that's stumbling on the ground gets the board before our teammate. I don't know how. Uh, but we get a dunk right there, 14 and 10. But yeah, that's on me. I mean, I feel like that's 2K's fault for not giving our teammate the board. I don't think it's our teammate's fault. I think it's 2K's fault, but 14 to 12. Easy dunk, 16 to 12 now. And we're just trying to be smart with it. They're taking their twos, but we're taking our twos. And we know if we keep taking our twos, we're going to win the game if they're not going to get a three. 18 to 14 right now. And they just keep taking their twos. They're trusting their defense. And I'm fine with that because I trust in our offense. I'm going to the rack again. Another easy two. I got a sharp take. He's got to respect the three. But I'm also going to be smart with it and not force a three. 20 to 18. They took another two. I mean, they were not even attempting three pointers down four so i get the ball it's 20 to 18 i walk it back i try to get the rim run i bail it out and now it's looking like a struggle possession almost i have one adrenaline bar this dude tries to iso again that hasn't really worked yet i'm going to the right side i get a decent shot and it's a yellow and i green it with no energy and wow that was low-key kind of clutch for the four times red two Oh my God, that was big time. That was big time. Now we are 75% to level 32. But we're not stopping just yet. We're going to continue to streak on this fourth floor. A boy Henny looking away on that green. And that was actually a close game too. Continue to get this four times right. We are 91% to level two. I mean, there's only what? Eight, nine levels to go before we're level 40? And we're not even 24 hours in? Is this fast? I feel like this is fast. Right there, I shot horrible. I mean, 5 from 12. But we win, and I hit level 32. Wow. Level 32, just under 24 hours in. Let me know. Is, is y'all predictions looking accurate so far from the beginning of the video? Uh, But yeah, we end up continuing the streak on the fourth floor. And like I said, I was playing better with the randoms than my actual teammates. I mean, we were on the fourth floor basically this entire event right here with two randoms so i don't know i i don't know do y'all play good with randoms do you go play good with set teammates like i feel like this year i be playing really good with randoms on my team like i'm not even communicating with these guys and look at we win that game 21 to 3 i mean dang four times red yo four times red was really hitting i mean Yo, 20% might not seem a lot, but on these bars, that's crazy. But anyways, the event ended up ending. We are on the fourth floor basically the entire time. But it was already time for our fifth strikeout event. Now, you see, I'm looking around. I didn't have any teammates. I invited my boy Will. He picked up this other random guy that was around uh, the event center. And we ended up going in immediately because his strikeout. We got to get to this 4-4, okay? And we ended up streaking up with this guy. He wasn't, I'm not going to lie, this guy was like, like the random team we had, he was good. But like he he you know those dudes that just lack IQ. Like they're decent, but like they just be doing some dumb stuff randomly. That that was like our teammate this time. But anyways, it was we were 92% the level 33. The next game I hit level 33. And wow, level 33 before we hit 25 hour mark. It's looking solid. I think we're doing pretty good for the next gen of levels. We still on the fourth floor, just racking up this XP. I mean, look at this. We finally lose, as you can see on the fourth floor, but we're at 26% to level 34. We try to climb back up to the fourth floor and the event ends up ending right before we hit level 34. But the sixth strikeout event starts and I pick up my boy Henny again. And then we pick up another random that was outside the event center that we invited to the squad, Bully. We were going crazy. You're going to see the highlights of this event. I'm just going to show a bunch of highlights of us going crazy in this event. I was getting threes. I was getting posters. I was low-key dis. I mean, this spin back is a simple move, but I was killing people with this spin back throughout the event. They were, I don't know what it was. They could not guard it. They were, they, I think maybe because they saw me getting contact dunks, they were just expecting a rim run. But yeah, I was not missing during this event. I was pretty locked. I mean, obviously I was missing some shots, but 
I was pretty locked in, hitting some crazy shots, hitting some open shots, hitting some high percentage shots. You see, we were up 18 to 7 right there. Look at what our dude is doing. Double team in the corner. You better come respect me. The heck are you doing? Uh, you see, I'm doing all types of moves. I'm going up the court and they're just leaving me. I mean, what are they doing? Disrespecting me. I got takeover. You already know when we get takeover, we can basically just shoot from anywhere. And yeah, we were really in our duffies. I mean, this team was really locked in throughout the entire event. I say we were on the fourth floor for the majority. Look at, I'm shooting a pull up fades in this dude's face. But yeah, we were on the fourth floor for the majority of this event behind the hash. Oh my lord. It's getting crazy out here, y'all. It's getting crazy. Another grain. I mean, yo, we were not. I think we I think we lost one game in this this specific event right here. And like I said earlier, I mean, y'all let me know. I feel like looking at these highlights, y'all can let me know in the comments. I was playing better with randoms than set teammates. I mean, look at the shots I'm hitting. I don't know what it was. I was just we were just not losing. Even when I'm losing in this game right here, I'm still shooting crazy shots. And that was the game, the one game we lost, I think, the entire event. And, of course, that's the game I rep up in. So, we hit level 34 off of that um, towards the end of the event. And then later on, as you can see, during the end of the event, we were still getting the four times rep. We were still going crazy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, we were locked in. I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. We were at the fourth floor for the majority of them, but this is where we ended up at the end of the event you're gonna see the season level four times rep and it is at almost level 35 we are 97 percent finishing that sixth or fifth what was it fifth uh strikeout event right or no sixth strikeout event right there but right here probably wondering what's going on here why are you on a seven three why does your guard look like a five five seven my boy solo another youtuber actually needed help recording a video on this like short lenny mask guy so i was helping him out by playing on a seven three and during the recording the one the out of the two we played two games the first game i hit level 35 off of it i'm about to get mascots and you hear me i mean i said i was about to get mascots i was getting hype i mean we were getting close now i head back into the wreck i just popped a two hour token and i'm playing with my boy jay curry who's another small streamer he's one of my boys and he picked up his mod in his chat so i don't know i didn't know who that was but he was decent and uh we ended up playing the wreck win by 20 points right there almost the whole team wrapping up except your boy unfortunately but i actually hit level 36 with no animation so technically i did wrap up we ended up winning another game right here by seven points and we was just hooping in the wreck i mean we we're going crazy look at 32 points eight or nine is i mean i was locked in no one was going crazy shooting 74 percent and i still have my double xp token um in there so look at i'm 99 percent to level 37 i'm like yo this is going well we go into the next game after popping i think i just popped another token right there so we're right back into the wreck i picked up my boy solo now um so i think it was, yeah it was it was me solo and then just three randoms we get into the game and it was, it was a decent game you know we were hitting threes we were driving to the basket we were doing our thing just just trying to get a win you see me fading in the corner and we only have three right now so i was going crazy in that first quarter but we only have three catch and shoot three giving us the double digit lead right there and yeah we we up we actually down five late in this fourth quarter but look at me i'm pointing at dudes i mean i'm doing my best to try to keep us in that game and we end up hitting level 37 off that game 17 percent into it i mean this double rep is hitting right now yo it's going crazy you see this next game we're level 37 i'm throwing dots i'm throwing assists everywhere i'm doing a little bit of everything you know i'm just trying to get the xp you know like i said earlier in the video i do what i need to do in the wreck if i need to score i'm gonna score but you see we make him rage crap got like 32 and 9 right there I, I didn't get a good look at it but yeah if i need to score i'll score if i need to pass i'll pass but right here in this game i was passing the rock now i did i'm spoiler alert i did drop 31 points in this game right here but i was dishing out the dimes i mean i was dropping dimes all over the court you see early on it was 21 to 5 now 31 to 11 shout out to that dude right there for the nice double clutch lamp hitting the back door i mean these are just randoms i'm playing with except for my boy solo it's 45 to 18 i mean damn 50 to 18 always getting disrespectful bro this is crazy disrespectful i mean come on bro look at me i'm dotting everybody this is this is why I always make a point guard. Because if you put me at point guard on the wreck, I'm going to pass the ball. 
Okay, look at 34 points, 15 assists, and we won 116 of 53. We won by over 50 or over 60 points. And I had 15 assists. Anyways, we're getting close to level 38. You see right here at the half, I have 21 points and two assists in the next game. And I'm getting a good game right there. Now we're at 99% to level 38. So I'm like, okay, bet. I had a couple boys that we're going to get on to play rec uh, in a few. So I was like, okay, I'm going to head to the 1v1 court once again in this video. And we're going to hit this level 38, our first rep up in a 1v1 game, hopefully. So in this game right here, it was losers out. So you kind of have to be careful. You know, you got to play good defense, but you also got to be smart. You can't just be jacking up threes like I was early on in this game. So I was taking my tunes. You're going to see a lot of quick drops early on in this game, but eventually we get takeover. Look at he's reaching. I mean, he's just giving me the two at that point. And by the way, we're almost 31 hours in and we just have a couple levels to go. Things are looking good. You see, we get the spin back three. 19 to 16, he falls for it again. And that's game. Get off the court, my boy. I'm sorry I had to do it to you. But we got to hit this level 38. And bam, just like that, we hit level 38. Comment down below in the comment section, level 38, if you are watching during this point of the video so I know who's loyal. But yeah, subscribe to the channel as well. This video took a long time to record. But anyways, we are two levels away, almost 31 hours into it. And I ended up getting into the rec game with a couple friends here. You see, I got four friends of mine, including myself. So we are going to have one rec random. And you see, I dropped 25 points, shot 92% from the field. And yeah, things were looking good. We get player of the game. Uh, I don't think I had a double XP coin going here, but I got 12% that game, which is pretty solid on this bar. This is one of the last bars. So one of the slowest bars. Another game goes by, I get 28 points, seven assists. Uh, and we get 25% right there. So yeah, we are 25.5% to level 39. Now I'm down to just three teammates, including myself. So we got two randoms on the team. We get right back into it. And look at, we have 50 points in this game. I have 35 points, nine assists. They end up quitting, which is fine. We still get the XP for that. So now we're even closer to level 39. And this game right here that y'all are about to watch was another crazy game, okay? We start off the game uh, hitting a couple threes, getting a couple fast break dunks here. You see, they're just this. I mean, I'm just getting open for three. They they clearly didn't know who they were dealing with here. It's 50 to 22 right now. I'm still getting up threes. I'm just going to tell you all right now. I mean, you see the top, right? We have 37 points shooting 50, a little over 55% from three. It's 91 to 32. I ended up with a front fade three right here. I dropped 54 points this game y'all that is half our team's points with four assists on a on a 71 percent shooting which is our, i think that's good 75 percent to level 39 after that 54 point game but now i went to the park okay and i played one park game now you're probably wondering why did you go to the park randomly to play one park game and you see a couple plays right here we were going crazy i picked up my boy jay curry for this two game because i needed to test how much percent i got on single rep for my level 40 stream because usually i want my level 40 to stream but to be at least an hour and a half maybe two hours so i need to do the math to see how many games or how many wins it's gonna take and you're playing my best bro like this nigga don't know how to play bro come on man you suck nigga Yo, we got interrupted right there by game chat. Dude was mad as hell from that part game. But anyways, yeah, I was doing the math to see how long it's going to take to hit level 40 in that stream. But anyways, long story short, we played a part game to do the math for our stream. Anyways, we get right back into the wreck. And this time I'm playing with old randoms. And, you know, I mean, it's 51 to 7. So, yeah, uh, they ended up quitting. Um, you know, if you get your boy Double H at point guard in the wreck, as long as you know what you're doing, it's looking like you're probably going to win. But look at this game. We get to another game and dudes are just quitting like they're dropping like flies i mean they must have not played me before like why did they quit out so it was zero to zero my boy i mean damn anyways you see we have a full casual team you saw that right this is probably the craziest game of the video i have a full casual team which is like a rank of your overall in your build if you don't know so that means basically based off my teammates ranks they're all at the lowest rank you could possibly be so not very good teammates and you can see right here, we start off getting a lot of fast break dunks. I get a spin back three. And you're probably thinking, okay, this is a crazy high scoring game for me. It is. A, it's, I'm going to spoil it right now. It's a crazy high scoring game for me. And a lot of people, they see people score like 50, 40 in the wreck. And they just assume, okay, you were probably ball hugging. But this game, I did not shoot a shot unless I was wide open. Okay. 
And not only that, I didn't know I had the, the, as many points as I ended up finishing with until the end of the game. This entire game, I was in Discord with my homie giving him YouTube advice the entire game. I was not paying attention at all. That might be, you, you, some of y'all might think that's cap. Like there's no way this dude's dropping this many points and he's not even paying attention. I swear to you, I didn't pay attention this whole game. <laughs> I was just on, I was on autopilot. You know when you be drive if, if any of y'all drive, let me know in the comments if you can relate to this. Y'all ever be driving on the highway or to work or to school or whatever, and you just like randomly doze off, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, like I couldn't remember a single thing. Like I was on autopilot that whole drive. Like I don't remember a thing. Look at that was me this game. I had 40 points at halftime, y'all. If I was playing with a set team this game, or maybe communicating with any of these guys, because you gotta remember I'm playing a full team right now, I would have dropped a hundred this game. Especially if I was paying attention, like, if I was, if I had said before this game, yo, I'm going to go for 100, I would have dropped 100. Because I wasn't even really trying to score for it. Look, I was throwing lobs to my teammates, and they, that dude was low-key hating on me. Like, I, he was calling timeouts, bro. I'm just shooting the open shot. Like, I don't know. Some rec teammates be hating. Like, I was dead ass just literally just shooting every open shot I got. I mean, I'm just getting y'all your assists. Like, it's not like I was dribbling and ice win and doing this and that. Like, I was just scoring when I got the ball. Simple. Look at I have 64 points. I didn't score that much in the fourth either. And we finished this game winning by 60. And I had 66 points and six assists on 80% shooting. I mean, wow. With all randoms and they were all casual tiers. That's pretty crazy. It's even crazier that we didn't rep up there. But we were at level 39. I, it didn't give me an animation. So actually, I did rep up there. My bad, my bad. I don't know why it doesn't give you an animation sometimes. This game, not the best game from three for me. But I had 40 points and 14 assists with these randoms. And we went crazy. So we, we, we're getting close to level 40. We're on the last bar. We're at level 39. We have one level to go, y'all. Right here, these dudes end up fouling me. He fouls out in a blowout game. So we win again. You see, I'm messaging one of those centers that I'll, you know, to play with him in the wreck in the future. But... You saw in the background, we're 40% almost to level 40. I end up claiming my badge point, and now the level 40 stream officially started. Drop a like on this video if you were in this stream. But yeah, this was our first game of the level 40 stream. I went live on YouTube. Make sure to turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I go live for stuff like this. We went live for level 40. We had a bunch of people pulling up, trying to beat me and my boy Will. I was not playing with a random here. I was playing with, my, with Will, my teammate, and I was going crazy. I was greening with my build. I was getting contact dunks, and we were just winning. You're going to see the top left timer. It's getting close. We're at 54% to level 40, y'all. It's getting close. That timer is eventually going to stop because this grind is almost over. We're almost at level 40. We are almost at 36 hours. Let me know if y'all think this is this that's good or bad. You could probably hit it a lot faster on current gen, but next gen, 36 hours, this is looking pretty solid. It's 5-0 to zero right here. 18 to 0. We're shooting fadeaway threes. We're shooting pull up threes. We're shooting step back threes. We're driving to the basket. We're dunking on dudes. And I'm going to tell you right now throughout this hour and a half, two hour stream, whatever it was during this level 40 stream, we did not lose a single game. People were trying to pull up to beat me for my level 40 stream. Nobody could beat us. Nobody. I'm not going to lie. I think the closest somebody got was like 12 or 14 points. I don't think anyone got past that. And if they did, we still won. And look at the bar just going up and up and up and up and up. Closer and closer and closer to level 40. So subscribe to the channel right now if you've been waiting for this moment throughout this video. We're on the road to a million subscribers. And look at this. 88%. 91%. 94.5%. Then it got time. Fadeaway three green. We are on a seven chain almost win streak. 97.6%. And just like that, we are one game. This is the game away from level 40. 36 hours and 30 minutes into this grind. And we are about to hit level 40. This is the game, y'all. You see, we got Lenny guarding me. I'm dotting the corner. I get the rebound. It's okay. I'm going right back up with it. And by the way, throughout this whole video, I was playing on the same build. What I like to call my two-way hero build. Link in the description if you want the build. But anyways, you see we shooting it. If you want my drill moves, my jump shot, it's all on the channel. You'll be able to find it. My badges, it's all on the channel. Whether it's a build video, a jump shot video, just look it up. You'll find it. 
When we up 9 to 0, somehow he made a late dunk right there. I get the ball right here. And Lenny, what you reaching out, my boy? 13 0. Oh, don't let it be a skunk. He reaching again. I'll tee. Yep, I missed. I missed. I, I messed up the 21 0. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. Letting out the ISO. We're trying to end this clock as soon as possible. I'm not trying to reach 36 hours, 40 minutes. I don't even want to reach 36 hours and 32 minutes. I'm trying to end this timer as fast as possible. So we need to get a stop right here. You see, we got the fireball because we're on the streak. A lot of streaks in this video, to be honest. And we were going crazy. Shot clock violation. What are you doing? That's an easy stop. Lenny, get it put on the floor. It wouldn't be a level 40 game if we didn't literally embarrass some dude again like we have done multiple times in this video. Going to the basket, easy dunk, 17 to 0. Will kind of rushes the pass right there. I probably should have came to him. It's okay. He gets the stop. It's whatever. We're here, though. We're playing good defense. He goes to the basket, easy dunk, 17 to 2. He tries to get a fadeaway off. No, Brody. That's off. Give me the ball. We got takeover. We got the fireball. What you doing on that help defense? And one. Give me an and one. This is for game. Per game. Come on, man. That is level 40. It actually could be 17 game win streak. Let's go. Here it is. Oh my God. A minus and we didn't get it. No, we got it. What the heck? Level 40. Let's go. Mascot. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just like that, the timer starts at 30 or stops at 36 hours, 34 minutes. We did it, y'all. Level 40. So now it's time to hop off the court, claim our reward, see what we got. Like I said, drop a like sub. Guess what mascot we get? Because we better claim it. 92 win percent. Pretty solid record. But here we go. It's time. Please, bro. Hit that subscribe button right now, chat. If you're in the stream, hit that sub button. Turn on noties. All right, we got the mascot. Please, dude. Don't freaking troll me. Don't, like, actually don't do it, bro. Don't troll me. Don't troll me. Please, please, please. Uh, okay. I'll take it. I mean, I'll take it. Hornets mascot? That's a W, chat. I'll take that. Now, we ended up buying some other mascots besides Hugo. I actually bought the Timberwolves mascot, the Bulls mascot, and I bought the uh, Rockets mascot. If you want me to buy any other mascots, comment them in below. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you liked this video, you'll definitely like one of these other videos on the screen. One of these videos, I went from zero to a million VC in one video. In the other video, I went from 60 to 99 overall with no money spent and no micer in just one video. So go check out those videos as well. It's been your boy, Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Love y'all boys and girls, and I'm out.